Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Bologna. Bologna is the capital and largest city of the Emilia Romagna region in northern Italy. It is the seventh most populous city in Italy with about 390,000 inhabitants and 150 different nationalities. Its metropolitan area is home to more than 1 million people. Originally Etruscan, the city has been one of the most important urban centers for centuries, first under the Etruscans, then under the Celts as Bona, later under the Romans, then again in the Middle Ages, as a free municipality in Signoria, when it was among the largest European cities by population. Famous for its towers, churches and lengthy porticos, Bologna has a well-preserved historical center, thanks to a careful restoration and conservation policy which began at the end of the 1970s. Home to the oldest university in the world, the University of Bologna, established in AD 1088, the city has a large student population that gives it a cosmopolitan character. In 2000 it was declared European Capital of Culture and in 2006, a UNESCO city of music and became part of the Creative Cities Network. Bologna is an important agricultural, industrial, financial and transport hub, where many large mechanical, electronic and food companies have their headquarters as well as one of the largest permanent trade fairs in Europe. According to the most recent data gathered by the European Regional Economic Growth Index of 2009, Bologna is the first Italian city and the 47th European city in terms of its economic growth rate. As a consequence, Bologna is also one of the wealthiest cities in Italy, often ranking as one of the top cities in terms of quality of life in the country. In 2011 it ranked first out of 107 Italian cities. Traces of human habitation in the area of Bologna go back to the 3rd millennium BCE, with significant settlements from about the 9th century BCE. The influence of Etruscan civilization reached the area in the 7th to 6th centuries, and the Etruscan city of Felsina was founded at the site of Bologna by the end of the 6th century. Petronius is still revered as patron saint of Bologna. Occupied by Frankish troops in 774 on behalf of the papacy, Bologna remained under imperial authority and prospered as a frontier mark of the Carolingian Empire. After the death of Matilda of Tuscany in 1115, Bologna obtained substantial concessions from Emperor Henry V. However, when Frederick Barbarossa subsequently attempted to strike down the deal, Bologna joined the Lombard League, which then defeated the imperial armies at the Battle of Legnano and established an effective autonomy at the Peace of Constance in 1183. Believed to have been established in 1088, the University of Bologna is widely considered the world's oldest university in continuous operation. By 1200, Bologna was a thriving commercial and artisanal center of about 10,000 people. During a campaign to support the imperial cities of Modena and Cremona against Bologna, Frederick II's son, King Enzo of Sardinia, was defeated and captured on May 26, 1249 at the Battle of Fossalta. During the late 1200s, Bologna was affected by political instability when the most prominent families incessantly fought for the control of the town. Du Puget was eventually ousted by a popular rebellion and Bologna became a signoria under Taddeo Pepoli in 1334. In 1350, Bologna was conquered by Archbishop Giovanni Visconti, the new Lord of Milan. In 1376, Bologna again revolted against papal rule and joined Florence in the unsuccessful War of the Eight Saints. In 1401, Giovanni I Benevoglio took power in a coup with the support of Milan, but the Milanese, having turned his back on them and allied with Florence, marched on Bologna and had Giovanni killed the following year. In 1442, Hannibal I Benevoglio, Giovanni's nephew, recovered Bologna from the Milanese, only to be assassinated in a conspiracy plotted by Pope Eugene IV three years later. When the papal troops, along with a contingent sent by Louis XII of France, marched against Bologna, Benevoglio and his family fled. Julius II entered the city triumphantly on 10 November. The period of papal rule over Bologna has been generally evaluated by historians as one of severe decline. However, this was not evident in the 1500s, which were marked by some major developments in Bologna. In 1530, Emperor Charles V was crowned in Bologna, the last of the Holy Roman Emperors to be crowned by the Pope. In 1564, the Piazza del Natuno and the Palazzo dei Banchi were built, along with the Archigenasio, the main building of the university. The period of papal rule saw also the construction of many churches and other religious establishments, and the restoration of older ones. At this time, Bologna had 96 convents, more than any other Italian city. Painters working in Bologna during this period established the Bolognese school which includes Annibale Caracci, Domenichino, Guercino and others of European fame. It was only towards the end of the 16th century that severe signs of decline began to manifest. A series of plagues in the late 16th to early 17th century reduced the population of the city from some 72,000 in the mid-16th century to about 47,000 by 1,630. 
During the Italian plague of 1629-31 alone Bologna lost up to a third of its population. In the mid-17th century, population stabilized at roughly 60,000, slowly increasing to some 70,000 by the mid-18th century. The economy of Bologna started to show signs of severe decline as the global centers of trade shifted towards the Atlantic. The traditional silk industry was in a critical state. The university was losing students, who once came from all over Europe, because of the illiberal attitudes of the church towards culture. Bologna continued to suffer a progressive deindustrialization also in the 18th century. In the mid-1700s Pope Benedict XIV, a Bolognese, tried to reverse the decline of the city with a series of reforms intended to stimulate the economy and promote the arts. However, these reforms achieved only mixed results. The Pope's efforts to stimulate the decaying textile industry had little success, while he was more successful in reforming the tax system, liberalizing trade and relaxing the oppressive system of censorship. The economic and demographic decline of Bologna became even more noticeable starting from the second half of the 18th century. In 1790 the city had 72,000 inhabitants, ranking as the second largest in the Papal States, however this figure had remained unchanged for decades. The economy was stagnant because of papal policies that distorted trade with heavy custom duties and sold concessions of monopolies to single manufacturers thus lowering competition, depressing productivity and incentivizing corruption. Napoleon entered Bologna on June 19, 1796. The insurrected provinces planned to unite as the province Italiana unite with Bologna's capital. Papal rule finally ended in the aftermath of Second War of Italian Independence, when the French and Piedmontese troops expelled the Austrians from Italian lands, on 11 and March 12, 1860, Bologna voted to join the new Kingdom of Italy. In the last decades of the 19th century, Bologna once again thrived economically and socially. In 1863 Naples was linked to Rome by railway, and the following year Bologna to Florence. Indeed, Bologna gave Italy one of its first prime ministers, Marco Minghetti. After World War I, Bologna was heavily involved in the Biennio Rosso socialist uprisings. During the interwar years, Bologna developed into an important manufacturing center for food processing, agricultural machinery and metalworking. Bologna suffered extensive damage during World War II. On July 24, 1943, a massive aerial bombardment destroyed a significant part of the historic city center and killed about 200 people. The city was heavily bombed again on 25th of September. The raids, which this time were not confined to the city center, left 2,481 people dead and 2,000 injured. By the end of the war, 43% of all buildings in Bologna had been destroyed or damaged. After the armistice of 1943, the city became a key center of the Italian resistance movement. Resistance forces entered Bologna on the morning of April 21, 1945. By this time, the Germans had already largely left the city in the face of the Allied advance, spearheaded by Polish forces advancing from the east during the Battle of Bologna which had been fought since 9 April. In the post-war years, Bologna became a thriving industrial center as well as a political stronghold of the Italian Communist Party. In 1977 Bologna was the scene of rioting linked to the movement of 1977, a spontaneous political movement of the time. On August 2, 1980, at the height of the years of lead, a terrorist bomb was set off in the central railway station of Bologna killing 85 people and wounding 200, an event which is known in Italy as the Bologna Massacre. Commemorations take place in Bologna on 2nd of August each year, culminating in a concert in the main square. However, Bologna reverted to form in 2004 when Sergio Cafferati, a former trade union leader, unseated Gazzalocca.